And in this country, we look back oftentimes at the stuff that we did as a society and say, what were we thinking? As I read through here, I want you to think about this through the lens of what children went through while you all supported mass. Sir, to I'm going to eat. You, you are not speaking about no, something no, that's germane no, to the stop, city. Stop. Commissioner, you please. put in a mass mandate quiet. that affected Sir, children. Sir, you're done. Well this is your warning. For this what? is your warning. For you what? are not talking you about items that are germane to the city commission. Shit, I'm and not. you are done. You are ki got to be kidding me. You, you all put in a mask. Officer, mass? please remove this. We'll step for back. What? For, five for five what? what? For what? A need to be directing. Time. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. I think you misgendered that they there, Mayor. I do apologize. Is that a hate crime? You know, under now. the discriminatory act you guys are going to be proposing, that'd be a hate crime, wouldn't it? Are you going to try to get to a point where we're not allowed <laughs> to do that kind of stuff? But you're up there doing it, and it's just sorry. You guys going to run a headline about that? Mayor misgenders they at meeting? Surely would do it to me. Right after the proclamation. Let's talk about, uh, talk about baseless conspiracy theories. Men having babies, men having periods. Come on, there ain't a bigger conspiracy th theory than that. So save your conspiracy theory bullshit for somebody that gives a shit. My name is Dr. Justin Spies. Uh, my doctorate is in human development from Kansas State. Back in July of 2021, I started a protest against the child mass mandates that were in effect in USD 497 for the second time. Point of order. So I got tired of the bullshit. Sir, um, the, what what's it do to with, with the city? What what is this your is discussion? public comment? Sir, he has sir, three minutes to speak. You're out of order. Point of order. This is your this is your warning. One more time, and I'm going to have you leave. So anyways, like I was saying, so when I did my protest, I was vilified around here and made it into a, to a political matter, like it was a baseless conspiracy theory, right? Came across an article here the other day. It's from June uh, 26th of 2022. It's from the online uh, journal Eye Perception. It's called Mask Wearing Affects Emotion Perception. Now, as I read through here, I want you to think about this through the lens of what children went through while you all supported mass. Sir, mass I'm going to eat. You, you are not speaking about no, something no, that's germane no, to the stop, city. Stop. Commissioner, you please. All put in a mass mandate quiet. that affected Sir, children. Sir, you're done. Well this is your warning. For this what? is your warning. For you what? are not talking you about items that are germane to the city commission. Shit, I'm and not. you are done. You are ki got to be kidding me. You, you all put in a mass. Officer, please remove this. We'll step for back. What? For, five for five what? what? For what? What? That's insane. Mr. First Amendment, First uh, Amendment right guy, let's go. What do you got, man? What do you got? I'm not trying to get thrown out with you. I got more important business to do later. Are we are we in adjournment right now? A recess? Okay, I just want to say loudly for everybody, at the point that they threatened to throw me out for stepping up and standing up for that man's right to speak, although I disagree with him, that would have been a direct violation of my First Amendment rights to speak here because she's purposely violating somebody else's and going to throw me out for calling it out. You guys need to realize that's what's going on. I don't, I don't agree with half the stuff that Justin says, but he has the right to speak in here, guys. He has the right to speak, just like I do, just like everybody does, just like every citizen does. And all you have to do is sit up there for three minutes and listen to us, and you refuse to do that. Why? Why? It's our right to speak. Like There's an election speak. coming. I had soft, but you are brittle and decrepit. Standing behind me, going to arrest me? No. Get out from behind me, cop. Whatever. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You think you're going to put cuffs on me? Get on it. Get on it. I, I don't know what you're... Well, your whole department says they're going to be the first ones to arrest me. 
Your Skyler Richardson on the CPRB work group says he's going to be the first one to arrest me as soon as he hits patrol division in October. I'm assuming you're all vouching for him. The whole department's sticking up for him. And they're up there conspiring to try to throw me out right now while we're in recess. They're up there conspiring to try to find a way to throw me out. That's what that is. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't interfered with anybody, ma'am. Why, why, why is there a question about me right now? Why is that a question? What did I do that caused that question? I defended somebody's First Amendment right to speak and you're going to talk to me like that? Are you really trying to get involved in this? Why would you do that? Let the commission take the heat. Well, I have a recording a couple weeks ago where you let just anybody stand here. Actually, it was Jane Eldridge and a bunch of them. So if you guys want to make an issue about that, we can file that and we can show evidence in court. I'm, I'm open to it. Then, then why are you making an issue with me? That felt very singular. Okay, we're back and we're gonna continue with general public comment. Any general public comment on items that are not, are not already on the agenda? I know this item isn't on the agenda because it just happened and it's directly related to company business here, so we're gonna talk about it. <clears throat> what just happened during the break, in case everybody missed it, because they stopped streaming during that, but I keep recording. Justin Spees was talking. You know, we don't, we, none of us really agree with everything he says, but he makes some good points every now and then. But he's talking. This city commission can't just let him go for three minutes. They've got to interrupt him. They interrupted a person or two before him. Well, at least one person. But this city commission, once again, can't just sit for three minutes. So in the process of trying to throw him out, I stand up and I say, hey, it's his First Amendment right to speak. That might have been captured on the stream. Mayor started to reconsider, but then Ms. Sellers decided to jump in and demand that he be thrown out of the room. Uh, I may be getting some of this wrong because it just happened right in front of me, and you know how the memory is, but damn. You guys can't sit and listen for three minutes. Three minutes. That's all it is. It's three minutes of us up here telling you how we feel, telling, telling you what we think of what you're doing for the city and how we think the city's doing. And I got to tell you, the clown show you guys have been running, I, I don't think there was ever a commission in the history of this city that has been able to unite the homeless advocates in the business community. But Jesus Christ, that's where you're at. That, that's where you're at, because I agree with Rick Renfro more than I agree with you. And what's going to happen is the whole city's going to come together and decide what we're going to do, and whether you get on board or not, you just may not be a commissioner. And I'm talking to Ms. Shipley that doesn't think she needs to pay attention here, because what we say over here doesn't matter. Amber Sellers even has the decency to watch me when I'm speaking, but you can't even look up. Can you not handle it? Looking right at me on a computer screen. Nice to stay behind that. You guys hide behind stuff. I was going to call out that proclamation earlier, but if they're going to accept it, I guess I'm okay with it. But I find it a weasel way out. You guys had an ordinance and you made a do-nothing proclamation. How are you going to protect somebody from the effect of? And you know, that's a really good point that Justin made. You just caused effect on a person, Mayor, right after you read the proclamation. What's going to happen? absolutely nothing because that's how it was designed you say some pretty words and you make people happy just like Courtney did back in November about homelessness and look where we are now it isn't working guys it isn't working and I think you all know that I think you're struggling to find solutions you need to listen to people and you need to quit calling people angry and troublemakers when they're bringing you facts. <laughs>